Hi YouTube, it's Antoinette. It's still 11.18 p.m. So it's uh, July uh, 31st, 2019. And I had um, a sclerobuckle eye surgery on July 23rd, 2019. I just wanted to share my experience um, with the sclerobuckle surgery and um, Kind of what my thoughts are on it. So I noticed on YouTube there were maybe two or three other persons who had done um, sclerobuckle um, YouTubes. And I said, well, hey, let me share my experience. Typically, I like to keep things private. And it's like, especially when I'm in the healing process, I'm like, hey, I don't really know, you know, uh, everything the process entails I don't really know everything the you know what's going to happen in the healing time but it typically takes two to four weeks to heal now um, my eye um, sorry I'm just trying to show you my eye so it is actually my right eye you can see it's a little redder uh, it's, it's it has it's red and uh, it's it's um, it hasn't fully um, recovered back to uh, its original state and I just wanted to share this and then with um, so much that I like to do like modeling um, it was a really tough decision for me to make but the going knowledge is if you don't have the square buckle for an attached retina which is what I had an attached retina then you typically then the eye you will have loss of the eye you will go blind in that eye and I said well hey I can take a risk you know most people at my age don't have this type of issue a detached retina usually ha occurs later in life but there are people my age who have and it only occurs I've read two different sources one said one in 10,000 and one said one in 25,000 either way is a very very small percentage less than 1% um, of the population that deals with this in any one year so um, I'm in the healing process and I just want to share it to hope to uh, encourage anyone who may be going through the same experience because the YouTubes that I saw really encouraged me in the process of going through this experience. So um, it takes two to four weeks to heal, but some people say it takes, you know, even longer than that. It may be up to four, four months or six months or what have you to heal to really get vision. Um, get your vision back to where you want it to be and I had it attached right and it was detaching from the bottom so much like someone else said on YouTube and um, you know and so it, it's like well hey do I take the risk do I, do I you know just kind of um, let it develop and see what happens and just watch it or do I get the have the procedure done and and have it taken care of and it's really uh, taken care of right now so as to be preventative it's a very um, so it's a scary thing, you know, when, when initially you think about it, I didn't want to use the word scary because I, I, you know, I am a woman of faith and I trust God. Um, and the same, and, and the scripture says, for the Lord, for the Lord is not given us a spirit of fear, but a love, power, and a sound mind. And, you know, I don't want to appear to be a hypocrite in any way because I am a Christian and I do read scripture and at the same time I'm still a human being and I have my flaws. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So I don't want to make it appear that um, that you know I'm anything other than a human being like everyone else. And even my doctors say, you know, they said, you know, there's there's nothing that you did that caused it because I you know I was going through certain experiences and I said well God I said it's just one thing after the other you know as soon as I resolve one thing then something else happens um and I was just kind of going through three through things over and over again I said well am I having a Job experience because in the Bible it, we talk about Job and uh you know the the enemy said to God, but the reason that Job serves you is because he has everything. He has wealth and riches and family and all of these things. He said, well, you know, if you challenge him in certain ways, will he still praise God and will he not curse God? Now, I've read the, the Bible, um, the entire Bible, um, and I don't remember all the details. I haven't studied it at length, right? But I have read it um, at least one time through. In the New Testament, I think I've read it twice. And I just read scriptures and Psalms and Proverbs. I don't want to digressing and move away from the topic I just wanted to say 
even though I don't have all of the details in the Job story, I know that he never cursed God from the lessons that I learned in church and from reading the word of God. Even when I read the word of God, I said, well, that seems like, well, what was Job really saying here? And he was saying, well, you know, he had this experience. And I'm just tying it to my experience. I'm having my experience with these different things in my life. And I said, well, God, I know you're faithful to bring me through to the other side. And, um, and so that's where I am now. And Job had this experience. He, you know, he went through so many difficult things. He lost his family. He lost his um, riches, his wealth. And, uh, and even still, he didn't curse God. He continued to be faithful to God. And God, you know what God did? It's a very encouraging story. God restored him, gave him more than he had in the beginning. Now, it, you know, you can't replace from your family. When you, you you have a special place in your heart for loved ones, but God still restored him and gave him family and gave him wealth even greater than he had um, prior to the experience where where he was uh, tested by the enemy, tested by Satan or the devil or whatever, however you want to, you know, negative energy or whatever, however you want to term it. He was tested by the enemy and God brought him through. So I know it's just people say, well, it's just eye surgery, you know, people go through all this time, but just think about how important your eyes are to you. And if you have been in this situation, you know, kind of thinking about, um, you know, me being in this situation, I kind of thought about, um, what, you know, what decision did I want to make? And I thank God for great doctors. And I saw several doctors, an eye doctor, a retina specialist, uh, two um, retina specialists, and then uh, just the doctor I saw when I was um initially getting my contacts and glasses who referred me to the eye doctor who referred me to a retina specialist who then um referred me to uh see someone else and I decided to see another retina specialist and um so I I I was on that journey and I wanted to get um opinions about the process and um you know I was just uh really blessed by the fact that God allowed me to have um, certain things in place so that uh, I could get the surgery. So that's it. My eye is healing. You see here. I will, I will, I'll try to update you all in the near future. And I will, um, I have um, pictures also because the first day, I'm actually on, let's see, day seven now. So, um, but on day one, it was very very difficult I could barely open my eye um, and uh, what they say is there there are different different things that I've read versus things that the doctor has said so your prescription changes typically um, and you have to get a, a higher prescription when you have a sclera buckle um, because there there may be um, the, the way you work with the eye changes the shape of the eye and uh, you, you may have to get an increase. You typically have to get an increased prescription um, for glasses and uh, contacts. And so, and I will have to do so. Um, so, um, so, yeah, so that is my brief video. And I'll try to put the pictures there so you can see uh, what it was like the very first time uh, I came home from the hospital and uh, so yeah so that's it and uh, I was um, blessed to have uh, my husband there with me and um, <laughs> even though we had a difference of opinion about what should have taken place I think that's him being a man and me being a woman um, but uh, but I did go through with it and so so that's my video okay Signing off, Antoinette. I also wanted to say that sometimes uh, there are um, instances where people have been able to recover vision. So... Um, the point of having a sclerobuckle is to prevent vision loss, but it changes your prescription in certain ways. And so the question then becomes, well, if I'm going to have to change my prescription because my vision is now impacted in an adverse way, 
uh, how, you know, what it, what is the, what is the balancing between, uh, balancing concerning getting the scary buckle and not getting the scary buckle. And the thing is, if you don't get it, then there's a, a, um, a likelihood, a high likelihood of, of blindness. But if you do get it, maybe your prescription will change, but you'll preserve, you will still also preserve vision. So that's what's important. And I also wanted to show my eye again because I, I don't think it was really clear. Um, so this is my right eye. And I'm going to try to get a little closer. So, um, so you see here, it's a little red. Um, and, um, and so, so you see it, so you see it here, you can see the difference now, um, and it's pretty obvious. So I'm still in the healing process and it's been seven, um, seven days and they say it takes two to four weeks to heal and then there may be additional healing in the process. So hope that makes it clear, um. Very thankful for God and the healing process says the word of God says by Jesus stripes you were healed. So I thank God for my healing and um, I'm sending before for you.